Oh. So I'm at Roswell Point tonight. Just getting out just to fish. I've not been out for a while. Wood like a cod. This is my first attempt at cod. But I went to Fleetwood Bait and Tackle trying to get some live worm, but he didn't have any because the tides are low and his team of diggers didn't get much and couldn't even fill his order book. But he recommended the best chance to catch anything of mixed species would be here. So I've taken his advice, I was going to fish at Cleveland, but I have to come to the point. So I've got frozen Welsh black, some squid. So, fishing. Fishing a uh, two-hook paternoster with uh, one-o hooks and a uh, loop rig with two-o hooks. Here they've been quite small, but they're small to me, they have hooks. Just see how it goes, get out, don't hold too much hope. I think it's going to be either dogfish or whiting. And a very outside chance of a bass or even remote still cod. So I'll keep you updated, obviously I'm fishing that, it's about 4 o'clock now, low tide's about half past 6ish, probably fish tied up, maybe an hour down, so it goes. So the rigs I'm using tonight, this one with the, with the 6 ounce weight, it's just a 2 hook clip down with 1-0 Sakuma mantas and a one size one chinu at the top just a pendel just to keep the bait presentation just keeping fairly small hooks night because of being a small tide not hoping out much to be quite honest tonight on this one here a two hook clip down with a 150 gram weight so I've got one on the bottom there, there's so size one, size one oh chinus at the top and at the bottom is size two oh Sukuma mantas. <laughs> It's five o'clock now in the evening, so it's going dark now. I've had one doggy, thought I filmed it, but I had pressed the button up um, hard enough. So, not particularly bothered, I didn't catch it on film. Caught plenty of them recently. Hopefully, you catch something else. It's 25 past five, I've had the doggy. That's about it. I've swapped over the left hand rod to an up and over with. 3 Pennell, 3 Screaming Manta Extra at the bottom, and a 3 Top Gun for the Top Pennell. I've got a big squid and black bait on that one, just to see if there's anything different out there. I'm well, quite quiet. I wasn't expecting a great deal tonight, just wanted to get out. Um, quite, quite a nice evening. It's quite mild, I haven't put my jacket on yet, it's still just a So, um, let's see how it goes, I'll keep you updated if anything other than doggies arrive. So on the right hand rail I've got uh, my Shimano Telgre CI4 Plus XTC, loaded with a £20 braid with an 8 strand with a £75 shock leader. On the left hand one is my Shimano Power Aero again with the same braid setup. Rods I'm using are my Century Tip Tornado Graphics Super Matches. Lovely rods, especially when paired with the, uh, the braid. Uh, 
it's just after six now, so coming up to uh, low tide, two doggies. So uh, different venue, same result at the moment. But it's nice just to be out. So very, mi it's a very mild evening. Not cold at all. Not the ideal temperature. I'm not trying to catch cod. Lots of you have been caught. There's a lad next to me in the next bay. He's come over and I chuck me. He says the few cod that have come out so far this season have all come from this bay. And he's giving me tips how to fish it. He said, obviously what I'm doing now, I've got to this creek in Bank Road. It's not the way to fish it, fish in the corner, across. So I'll remember that next time I come. Um, and that, yeah, it's just nice to be out. Nice to have some different kind of whiting on a dogfish. But beggars can't be choosers. Say, like the, the lad in the in the bay next to me, I said he's had a couple of white and he's been down to Chesil recently, which he said was a great experience. I bet it was. But he's fishing with tip lights. I can see them here, red and the blue one. But I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer you know, like you can see here, this nice bright tip tape. Miles better. I'd rather just have my headlamp on and looking up at the tips and. Looking and go. I'm a big fan of the tip lights, but I highly, highly recommend the uh, microwave tape. Well, the lad that was in the bay next to me just uh, walked along the top of the wall here, going no slow tide now, but it's giving me all this live low look there, so I'm very thankful to him for all the tips he's given me tonight, much appreciated. So let's go get used to having fish this particular coast um, and had the, the lad at Fleetwood bait and tackle he was very helpful as well and, uh, just two dogfish tonight which I thought I had filmed but I don't sometimes when my fingers wet I press the button and it doesn't activate so I'm not really bothered I think it's a little camera caught plenty of them recently the ebbing tide now does start to retreat in, probably give it an hour, hour and a half maximum. I'll get back home. My wife Helen, we will finish watching Strictly Come Dancing. Well, it's just after gone seven o'clock now. Still on those two dogfish. Getting lots of bite. On the blow lug, I put on a, just a two hook clip down like a flapper with one o hooks and a size one chinu on the panel. Just get a lot of little taps like that. So I'm assuming this for whitings because the the lad who gave me that blow lug in the, in the bay next to me, he was catching them and they're only small, thin whiting. So I'm assuming it's that tap in the bay. We give it just a few before eight o'clock, and then I'll probably hit that hole. Well, I just had a fantastic fight on the left hand rod, then, which has got the big bait on it with it up and over with the real hooks. Brought it in, felt like there was something on there. Brought it in, and it, whatever was on came loose in the surf, right near the surf. I couldn't get to see what it was. Whether it was another doggy or not, I don't know. Sometimes great to be misleading thinking you've had a bite of a phenomenal fish and it's not a very reasonable oh, well, one. I've got a good bite there. Oh.
out massive bait, tiny dogfish. That's the smallest dogfish I've caught for a while, that. So that's what's the uh, third one tonight. Go and get this little fella back to the fight another day. Well, straight after that, we're on the big bait. We're on the two hook Patton Oster, put down Patton Oster. Doggy as well. Back again, Pat, the bite. Um, that's four for the evening. Get another cast in. Might only get one more, two or three more cast. That's about it, then go home. These are out of force. Right, uh, it's quarter to eight now. These are my last two casts. Um, later, I'll leave this to about five past eight or so. And then uh, I'll head off home. So if I get anything, I get anything. That's it, it's been an enjoyable evening out. Very mild this time of the year. So I didn't expect much of a cod, but it was my first expedition, if you say try and catch a cod for the year and the first one ever from the shore well, from the boat before so learn some things from the uh, lad in the bay next to me so when I come again I know where to come we just get used to fishing it so might hopefully have a look bigger tides next weekend Hopefully the temperature starts dropping up in near December. On the last cast, another species. A white in. I had a couple I might take it home if it was inside, but I'll put it back. Well, that's it now. Packing up, both rods are in. Get ready to go home. A couple of lads who are fishing a couple of bays over just walk along the top there. Then all they've had is doggies and whiting as well. So, yeah, I can't grumble. I don't like catching dogfish, but. It's certainly better than blanking. I'm quite comfortable fishing out on this, so I don't actually mind fishing uh, Russell Point or high tide out here. Far easier than fishing low tide at Five Bar Gate where I panic because I think I'm going to get cut off from the incoming tide. So I'll probably be here again in a week's time, hopefully, if not, certainly a week after. The tide's getting bigger. Gets colder, potential for that cod. I'll keep on trying because that's all there is. It, it, it really is to fish for at the moment round here, unless I take a trip back home to Anglesey and go for some small eye ray in Cumberland Bay. Um, I have contemplated doing that, this it's just a, a long old day, a five hour round trip there, unless I can stay overnight at my, my sister's in Hollyhead. So, but my quest is to catch a cod, so I will do, be doing a fair few trips between now and January to try and catch one and get off the mark. 